What's up, everybody? Gooders55. Uh, Vanderbilt falls to Florida and Gainesville 40 to 66, I believe. Um, our defense did better than what it says. It was a closer game than what the score indicates, but at the end of the day, Florida is going to finish the SEC regular season champions and undefeated at home for the second time under their head coach, Billy Donovan. So, uh, congrats to all the Florida fans on here. Y'all definitely earned it. Uh, for us doors, you know, I, I mean, it. the score indicated that it was, you know, not close, but it was closer than uh, what the score indicated. I know that's kind of weird, but uh, our defense was tight. You know, we played them good. They were just hot on their fast breaks, hot on their threes. And they got a couple of breaks, but at the end of the day, they were they were better than us, and uh, that's this was their final home game, I believe, if not their final game. So uh, congrats to the Florida fans. You all should do pretty good in the SEC tournament. But uh, you know, it was just we did all we could. We're going up against number eleven in the AP and number nine in the coaches uh, rankings, so they got that. Deservingly, and uh, we did what we could do. Uh, we played them tight, but they're just great at making shots. Their guys can make shots all day long, doesn't matter how your defense is. We got a few turnovers here and there, but the thing is, on offense, our defense was doing fine, but on offense, we could not get in the paint. We kept shooting like at least 15 footers, and then we kept like 15 foot jump shots from the side and bank shots, and we kept missing those. Banked it off the, missed it off the rim. Hit it off the glass too far, came back at us, or we would go for threes. We could not hit threes. We could not hit 15 foot shots. We couldn't hit any of those. I don't understand why we didn't charge and go for the paint. Now, I'm guessing this could be it because Jeter, he went in, and the Florida guy stepped in front of him, so I don't see how they called it a technical on Jeter. But Jeter goes in, so I'm guessing, I'm just guessing the reason we decided not to go into the paint anymore was because they called the technical on Jeter. I still don't see why that would happen. You know, we scored the points, but they flipped it around and said it was a technical on Jeter for charging. Now, he was kind of trotting up there, but it was not a travel at all. He had enough steps to use, you know. And uh, the guy stepped in front of him. The guy clearly moved in front of him. Stallings was going off. The bench was going off. Jeter was about ready to slap the ref in the face. Um, you know, it was just, but we calmed down. We calmed down. We were okay. And uh, that kind of ticked me off. started yelling at my TV. I really didn't understand that call. Um, I get all refs make mistakes, but I definitely disagreed with that one. That took some points away from us, especially when Jeter's a guy that doesn't scare, score that much. He's got a, like, 5.5 uh, scoring average in games. So, uh, you know, Jeter, he wants to score as much as he can. Free throws, we were on and off on that. You know, that's usually how we are all season. You know, we're a good team. We can work. We can work our way inside. And, you know, if we actually try and get in the paint, like – they had the same kind of defense as we did. We just could not get in the paint for some reason. And then we started shooting outside the paint, and we missed every time. We just cannot shoot. We can do everything but shoot. And for some reason, for some reason, we decided not to go into the paint a lot, and we just kept shooting jump shots and a bunch of stuff that just were not sinking. And overall, that's the reason why Florida kept getting the ball, kept hitting threes. They were hot from everywhere. We're not hot from everywhere. We're not hot from really anywhere when we shoot. Overall, defense is good. Offense... I don't know about all that. We're not too hot on the offense. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see, you know, where it'll take us against South Carolina this this Saturday. So that'll be our final game. I think it's senior, senior day, senior night, whatever you want to call it. It'll be at 1230 at Memorial Gymnasium. And, uh, you know, we just I don't get why we didn't go into the paint. It's not like it's going to be a technical every single time we go into the paint. That's what ticked me off. Why did we not keep going into the paint? Gosh, that made me mad. We just kept shooting jump shots and three-pointers, and nothing synced. And that's why the game was how it was. Our defense was good. Florida made their shots against our tough defense. And we had our hands up the whole time. Florida made the shots against our tough defense, but we cannot make the shots against Florida's tough defense. So, you know.
this Saturday. Kind of covered up my camera for a second. Forgot to bring the tickets in when I was making this video. But uh, this Saturday, I will be going to the South Carolina game. So there you go. Tickets are right there. So I'll be bringing some footage from that. Overall, you know, I'm mad about how our offense was in the second half. kind of seems like, you know, we didn't quit. We just weren't in it. In the scoring, we didn't go into the paint. So I don't know. Anyway, go to work. Congrats to all the Florida fans on here. It was closer than the score indicated, but congrats to all the Gator fans on here. And uh, uh, I'll be back on Saturday bringing you all the footage from the South Carolina game. So go to 55 out. I'm not giving up on this team. We've still got the SEC champ, SEC tournament champion. We still got the SEC tournament in Nashville. So uh, our place. So uh, that's all I got to say. Go to 55 signing up.